Go ahead. Hi, I'm Len Booksy Sharp. Whenever in, I'm in New York, I look at Culture Share for the best in steel band and calypso. I wish you the very best on your third anniversary. the music of Austin Beckett Cyrus doing a remake of the Touch classic Touch Jam, one of the big ones you can find at the major record stores in Brooklyn. This is where the action is, this is Culture Share. Stay right where you are and keep that smile on your face too and enjoy the happiness in the music for the next hour. I am Harold Pysody and we have an action-packed program for you this week. We'll be telling you about Ahsoka Traffic Jam. Yes, Ahsoka Traffic Jam that's coming up at the Sea Moon Pavilion in Grenada, Saturday, June the 12th, featuring the top Grenadian soca bands. And we'll be talking to two of those bands in a few moments. Our first entertainer is a bard in the business. Left Trinidad way back when has been singing for over half a century now. Now this guy came back when he heard about this new talent called the Mighty Sparrow creating a lot of waves on the scene and since he came back never left, created trouble in Arima since then. He is the Grand Master himself, the Lord Kitchener. Here he is with a jazzy classic, 12 Bar Joan. With me. I want to romance you, you must agree You drive with me cuckoo, girl, can't you see? My love is really true, I've got to be They want to control you, looking at you I get a sensation, out of the blue You love me emotion, dance with me I want to romance you, you must agree You drive with me cuckoo, girl, can't you see? My love is really true, I've got to be They want to control you, looking at you I get a sensation, out of the blue You love me emotion you got to shake your body line. Make no mistake. You got to grind for goodness sake. Dance. You got to shake your body line. Make no mistake. You got to grind for goodness sake. Dance. Come on, Joe, move your feet Get the feet of the beat Jump in time with the bass To the tune of the jazz Do your thing, jump and push Dance Come on, Joe, move your feet Get the feet of the beat Jump in time with the bass To the tune of the jazz your team jump and prance
how much I want you, want you. Dance, sweetheart, we are both in twine. Well, you know how much I need you, need you. Dance, go round and round, then clap your hand. Go up and down, obey your man. Don't goof this chance, Joan. Dance, go round and round, then clap your hand. Go up and down, obey your man. Don't goof this chance, Joan. The Grand Master himself, with a lot of energy still, Kitchener doing his 12 bar Joan on Culture Share. At the beginning of the program, I was telling you about that big soca traffic jam that's coming down in Grenada at the Sea Moon Pavilion on Saturday, June the 12th, featuring big bards like the Black Wizard, we have Eggies and Bubbler, Lady Cheryl, Smokey, and much more. But we'll be talking to two of the bards who will also be performing on that particular evening. This is the first one. Now all over tongue is a whole talk about who want to take the monarchies. You will want it. You want it. Politics get hold of the ad from Like they campaigning for the election They even have the Prime Minister and opposition Go to have to stumble Everybody got the hustle Get to understand the ground Don't belongs to one man When you coming down Talking in the tongue Smoking on the bandwagon We said in the competition But yes, still I want to know If on the ground that is Calypso Randy Isaac in tongue Peter Humphrey coming down Humphrey in the tongue Squeezy and Mm-hmm, Mr. Christopher Antoine, if you please. We know him in the Calypso business as Squeezy. The next Calypsonian, like Squeezy, has performed on numerous occasions on Culture Share. In the blazing sun on the sugar plantation They sang the anthems of the African nations Creating rhythm in every play that they swung It was Calypso music that kept them going on They sang for the children Taking away from them, they sang out their hearts in pain. They might never see them again. The agony of black women taking back of the black men. That is where you find the roots of Calypso. It is rooted in a blood flowing through a man. Sweet Calypso music. Well, you guessed right. That's Randy Isaac doing his Roots of Calypso on Culture Share. And it's a pleasure to have you gentlemen on the program to talk to you about that show that's coming up on June the 12th at the Sea Moon Pavilion. It's going to be, what, a soca traffic jam, Squeezy? Well, it will be a soca traffic jam. In fact, we'll be having new songs, so at least it will be much more exciting. It's not like we're coming to King, but we're coming to light up Sea Moon Pavilion. Oh yes, and uh, with you and a lot of power, they may have to put extra reinforcements on that stage. Well, that's for sure. This year especially uh, generating a little bit more power. By the way, I heard you've been swimming a lot lately. Uh, who told you so? <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I've been swimming, you know, working out a little bit, getting right. prepared, and you know, organizing myself and getting fit for the stage. Good. Now, yeah. about the show, Randy, I know that um, you will be looking forward for such. Uh, anytime you can perform to your home crowd, I know it excites you tremendously. It's going to be back. TR7 Plus is going to be backing up, and that's a reputable band with a good side. And I know for a fact you are looking forward to Saturday, June 12th, Simone. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it a whole lot because, you know, I've been home since like um, Christmas time, you know, and I really wanted to go back. I wanted to go back for Easter to do something, you know, but circumstances behind my control, you know, I couldn't make it. But I'm really looking forward to June 12th. I'm going to mash up the place and I'm going to give them something new too. Now, I remind you that um, the show begins at 6 o'clock in the evening, but the doors will be open at 4 o'clock. And I know it's going to be a mad rush to get in on the action. Mm. Gentlemen, 
you'll be having new stuff for the people. Promise, okay? Yeah, oh, don't real new stuff. Most, right, good. What about you? Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to tell oh. all the ladies in tongue, anybody who have a song for her to sing, I ready to sing it. Okay, you're ready uh, to sing in any party? Yeah, I want to sing somebody's song. Okay, great. Now, gentlemen, I'm going to put you all in a spot. I'm not going to make you all leave right now. You're all going to stay right here and co-host the show with me. That would be nice. <laughs> Alright, quite time. Bro. Okay, great. I'm ready. Fine. So we'll be back with much more on Culture Share with myself, Squeezy, and Randy Isaac. Overdose of uh, bad love and huh. call 970 oh, that number mash oh god the love line the, the caribbean playboy line the playboy line 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 the caribbean line 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 the love line and we take off the s for satisfaction and savings uh, 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 and savings oh, okay. <laughs> and we add an h for horny <laughs> <laughs> Boys, so call nine seven. That number, Matt six two seven four. And we're booking a quarter for the first minute and three quarters for the next one. That's right, and pleasurize your day. Pleasurize. That's right, pleasurize your day. Mm, 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 <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> the action is on the one. Stay in here and be happy. So I'll call in on America, free South Africa. Military is the answer. Free South Africa. I told us to stop this massacre. <laughs> you forget your calypso, man? <laughs> <laughs> how, how no, we have to go on next slide. How, how, how young were, were you then? Huh? How young were you then? I was about 15. About 15, the yeah. first calypso. Yeah. He was on the ground all over Grenville in uh, Deluxe Cinema, on your belly. Yeah, yeah. In the military. Yeah. Were, I just excited doing anything. Right. Yeah. Squeeze, mm. our next act coming up. Is a band you saw performing in where? Uh, in Texas, yeah, in mm -hmm. Texas. That's Born in Flames. In fact, they are one of the best Zouk band right now in the Caribbean. And you saw them too, Randy? Uh, yeah, well, they performed for um, President Clinton in the inauguration ball, you know? Right. They were a very good Caribbean band and they're going to do something for us here on Culture Share. In the dance hall style.
from Antigua, Burning Flames, doing Nice Time, performing in New York City. And that song you can get on CD at the major record outlets in Brooklyn, Manhattan, New Jersey, and the rest of the tri-state area. Culture Share is on the move. And once again, we want to remind you that the big show that's coming down in Grenada, that's the pre-carnival Soka Traffic Jam. And that's at Sea Moon Pavilion on Sunday, June the 12th. Showtime is 6 p.m., doors open at 4 p.m., featuring the best of Grenada's Calypsonians. And we have Squeezy and Randy here. They'll be performing on the show too. New stuff for 1993. So that's something to look forward to, right, Randy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Squeezy well, Harold, don't forget to tell the people that you'll be coming down. They want to know what you'll be giving them too. <laughs> I let it know um, cats out of the bag. None of the bag, right? Right. Well, um, I'll be coming with something called Make One for the Pan. Uh, as to mention, only something new for the time being. And Randy, you? Yeah, I'll be doing sing she song for she. <laughs> <laughs> and you mentioned something about the band, and I remember more steel band. Yeah, that, that was, was that was you in 1990, yeah, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, Saturday, June the 12th at Sea Moon Pavilion. And as we were just speaking about Pan, the next presentation we have for you is Pan Music from the Exodus Steel Orchestra. They won the Panorama in 92 and TNT, and here they are doing a classical piece for us.
Exeter Steel Orchestra doing excerpts from the opera Carmen on Culture Share. Now, when the Exeter Steel Orchestra won the Panorama Championships in 1992, that prompted a Calypsonian to compose a Calypso for the 1993 season. Now, that Calypso turned out to be one of the most popular of the season. The Calypsonian and the Calypso coming up. Hi, I'm John from Silver Sands Traveling Tours. It's like to take this opportunity to wish Culture Share a happy third anniversary. Go get it, guys. You've been doing an excellent job so far. Keep on doing the good work. Well, the Calypsonian we were talking about a few moments ago is none other than David Rudder. There's a saying there's no other like David Rudder. A top Calypsonian squeeze? Well, David Rudder to me is like not David Rudder, but David Rudder because this guy is steering Calypso from behind, man. He's like steering Calypso to a different direction. He's like a Rudder. <laughs> Randy? Well, I think he's great. David Rudder is really great. Uh, as you say, there is no other like David Rudder. And, I mean, He's one of my idols in the Calypso business. I listen to his music a lot. I think he's great. Well, here is David now with his mega hit for 93, Dust in Day Face. <laughs> Kitchen, uh, start to make him an ima. He said they can't catch me, so next year, panorama. Tell them, boy, they had a bed for the supper we come in. And it's doy, 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 doy. Ben, when you see we come down, what do you play? Wait this. Does in your face. Wait this. Does in your face. Ah, guns will be blasting for sure. In this musical war, just in the face. Wait this. Does in the face. I'm telling you. Respect now is what we want They can't take me light again We ain't taking no prisoners, so sorry So can we belt and cocktail peace So when we reach It will be wah, 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 wah. Hey! When you see we come down War declaring the tongue Dust in the face Wait this, dust in the face Guns will be blasting for sure In this musical war It's dust in the face I tell you dust in the face Oh, but I still feel we play all right, eh? 
You take the rattles between Brandy Gates and Fanberry. I like the things I hear that Bradley do. But I hear Tanya don't like we. And no life be no funny. You think that EXO just could make it too. Jam the music! Desperados and renegade, they're quiet, but they're sharpening their music with fun clear. Look the face and the humming word, waiting for the judges to give the word. And they can and buddy and buddy and cup, they love the bacchanal. They're meant to love the band, now they're watching the jam in the Spanish carnival. Well, now we come to this, after two months of labor, living on nuts and corn from the you must refuse to think about lose. Nobody could be do I tell you, na 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 na. When you see we come down, what declare in the tongue? Dust in the face. Wait this. Dust in the face. Guns will be blasting for sure in this musical war. Dust in the face. Dust in the face. I tell you, we're looking for fire. The trouble tonight. What a superb performance indeed from one of the superstars in the business, David Rudder on Culture Share. Well, you know, David will be the first man to tell you that he's a, a very philosophical person. And we took some time off to have a chat with each other just before that performance in New York City. And we were touching on what's wrong with the Calypso art form. Why isn't it taking the world by storm as yet? And why aren't there more serious Calypsos in the business? Look. Calypso music travels in a very insecure kind of world where you have to come up with something in, ne in the next nine months or else, you know, because like I've just finished my, my, my new album and people are just saying, um, when the next album coming out, it's like if, you know, it's like there's dust in the face played for carnival, so but there are nine, eight other songs on the album that haven't been even touched, you know, and basically what the fine artist is just doing is um, a, a, a just doing things to survive. So they might do one song and hope to, for the best and next year we do an, another one. But basically it's a very hit and miss kind of thing. You know, I think that if people realize that we need to aim for real standards and, you know, say something, I mean, a alongside the very light, light-hearted kind of songs, then this is how the music will, will go forward. But if you just deal with one aspect of it, it just um, travels in that short space and, and peters out and disappears and people looking for something else again. It's like throw, throw away music. So when would Calypso actually take the world by storm? When will it break? When would a major record company take Calypso in their arms? When would Calypso be in the Grammy Awards, for instance? When it will become worldwide? Well, what is wrong with the art form then? Well, look at this. I've been signed to a major record company for six years. I mean, Arrow also. Um, and, and we just, we, we are well known in many parts of the world, yes. But within a sort of like a world beat sort of thing, and you know, it's, it's not very... Um, it's not like how they would know a, a rap artist or so on, right? Um, I think the music is too personal. And this is one of the things that um, record company, companies look for. They look for um, things that they can attach, attach a value to, to in the sense of um, they can sell a, a culture behind. Um, if you, if you, have, you have reggae music, and you you see some you know reggae music is aligned with Rastafarianism, marijuana, ice green and gold. It's a, it has a whole thing. Rock music is is aligned to um, black leather and long hair and tattoos and acid and so on. Rap is aligned to um, Malcolm X t-shirts, hats pulled on the side, gold chains. It's, everything is, has a certain um, thing that the record company would say. Well, yeah, we can sell that. Now if you see David Rudder, Shadow, Sparrow, Kitchener walking on the road, it's just four guys. Because Calypso music is very individualistic, it's each a person's opinion. So there's no distinct form in, 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 in the music, in the sense of, it's what I feel and what Shadow feels and what Sparrow feels and what Kitchener feels. So is it wrong to sing this kind of Calypso? 
No, that is how the music is. It's not about singing a type of calypso. I think it is about the fact that it comes from a, soci a society and an, an, and an environment that deals with individualism. It's like if you go to a calypso tent and you have 20 singers, you have 20 opinions. You know, there's no um, real, I mean, they might be dealing with the same topic, but it's their, their, their slant in that same basic to topic. So it's not the topic that it's, it's about. It's the culture it comes from. It's a very individualistic kind of, of art. Caribbean media is, a, is the Calypso art form's worst enemy because we do not hear a plethora of our music played on the radio in the Caribbean. Do you agree with me? Yeah, this is a, this is a problem all over because, um, I mean, right now, the whole um, Caribbean system is being fed from a North American standpoint. It's like a lot of cable television is coming in and so on. And um, there's a very, sh a very small amount of um, programming done on Caribbean artists. Um, you know, it's except, you know, it's except, except when I go to places like Antigua and so on and Grenada and so where you might find um, there's a certain amount of, of um, Caribbean music being played. Um, not, I'm not, I shouldn't say just Caribbean music, but um, dancehall music is played quite a bit. Um, Soca and Calypso music is um, not played as much as. But I think what, what, what bothers me is the fact that um, a lot of our youngsters are, very, are now being fed so much through that satellite thing that they, they're sort of losing um, their center, so to speak. Also, uh, something I, I notice in the Calypso world is that a lot of our par the parents are not giving the children a chance to create for themselves. What they do is like a, in, in the Calypso world in Trinidad, I find there's too much of parents writing the, the ch songs for their children. We lose the kids around the age 12, 13, because by that time, the parents have stopped writing for them and they now have to create on their own, but they don't know what to do simply because they have never been given the chance to express their own feelings, you know? And I think that is something also we have to um, address. David Rudder on Culture Share. We'll be back with much more. Well, personally, I would like to congratulate Gentle Ben Television on their third anniversary, three years fighting and two years trying to produce the culture introduce the arts out of the Caribbean on behalf of all the artists out of the Caribbean Travis Smith saying big up yourselves and thanks for everything I hope you have many more years it was Memorial Day weekend last year when Grenada lost one of its top Calypsonians Timpo in a hit and run accident here in New York Timpo won the Calypso Monarch back in Grenada in 1981 and was part of the revolution of the Grenada Calypso then, helping it to reach the standard it is right now. And Squeezy, I know that um, Timpo did play a big part in your Calypso career. Well, Timpo did play a major part in my Calypso career because at the time I started to sing Calypso, Timpo was then the superstar of Grenada. He was at least the, um, the king, the Calypso Monarch, with a um, want for carnival and so on. And we started singing in, in same time together and we had a good relationship going, man. That time when he got hit, in fact, I was, I couldn't believe it. But Timpo, your memories will live on. And Randy? Yeah, Timpo played a, a great part in my career, you know. Um, from Grenada, when I came to New York, we had a, a good relationship. He was a very nice guy. And uh, I hope he, um, his name will live on in the Calypso world, you know. And um, his death was a real, a real tragedy, tragedy to me. Okay, let's remember Timpo now the way we remember him best. End up in big confusion with my female fan Yvonne. Yes, she wants to know what is wrong. So long I ain't make a song. Tell I know, I ain't we singing Cause right now, to the studio I'm going Right away, we won't stop begging She want to hear my friends for my song before She keep begging Give me, give me that dress that you see So much, so oh much I know you see, I know you see The 
Late Tempo on Culture Share. We're on the move and we're having fun. Our next Calypso is, is the Calypso King of the World, the Mighty Sparrow. And so much can be said about this great man, Squeeze. Oh, much too much. In fact, Calypso has been bought from the Caribbean by Sparrow himself. Uh, at least we can live out Kichina and so on. But Sparrow did a great job for Calypso throughout Europe and America. And I would like to say thanks to the man. I mean, do respect. Randy, what do you think about that? Well, Sparrow, I would say Calypso would not be, be where it is today with us, Sparrow. You know, Randy, when you came on stage dressed up in your short khaki pants and blue shirt, what, what was that Calypso you were singing again? We are the future of tomorrow. You know, Sparrow was the first Calypsonian to don a wear on stage as a presentation when he had the same shorts and a shirt singing Dan is the man in the van. That was back in 1961. Not in well, He was the first man oh, to do it. He could have been Randy. <laughs> Here is Sparrow doing London Bridge. That was first done in 1980 in his 25th anniversary album. It was further updated in December. And when he sang it again just a few weekends ago in Brooklyn, he further updated it as events continued to unravel at Buckingham Palace. There's a fall when nights were fall, Britain ruled supreme. Songs were sung and tales were told. Life was like a dream. Tough men like Truman and Hutton, Churchill and Horatio Nelson. Ever since these gallant heroes gone, London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Right there in front of snow. Don't tell me how she big dog get in the mouth. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. They say when a man fit his sucking toe, his appetite for tata does grow. So when next they try and not go, London Bridge is falling down. Falling down, falling down. I really feel it sorry for the ground. But lucky thing, the Queen Mother strong. She could have catch a heart attack on the ground. She said, Everybody wagging their tongue. Calling us misfits and highly strong. Chicken from Buckingham. London Bridge is falling down. A duchess and a princess ruining the crown. Saddam laughing, saying we are no longer strong. The prime minister devalued the pound. I hear up to now, Prince Philip can't talk. In a state of shock, yeah. I did tell Andrew watch Brian like a hawk. Let him go back to Texas and run him up. Still, I can't forgive the Duchess of York for shaking up the beef and sharing the pork. Bridge is 
falling down. A duchess and a princess ruining the crown. Diana lived child and she gone she way. No both of them ready to ramp and play. So if you want a woman, you want a man. This is time to put your application. Separate. Diana and Fogie go hard to death. London Bridge is falling down. London Bridge is falling down. Ba da ba da ba da Sparrow on the culture share and once again we want to remind you of the big show coming up in Grenada it's the Soka Street Light Jam no we call it Soka Traffic Jam <laughs> <laughs> but I will tell you something about the street light anywhere you walk around in Grenada and you see a picture of a street light that is the flyer promoting that show Saturday June 12th Doors open at 6 o'clock showtime 4 o'clock Squeezy Randy Isaac will be there stop what did I look, look? listen uh huh. We have everything Dung Park, well cook up and curry down, coming Grenada for 1993. Black Hot was and sweaty. It will be a show with a bang, and we're coming to hit you hard for 93. And I want to see all my fans there, and we're gonna have a good time. We're coming down with all we got. We ain't leaving nothing back in New York. So come prepared. We go do a thing. Black Wizard, Eggies, Bubbler, Lady Cheryl will also be there and much more action. There'll also be steel band music on the night. Sea Moon is where you'll be Saturday, June 12th in Grenada. That's it this week in Culture Share. Gentlemen, it was great having you. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much, Paisa. It's been a pleasure. Join us again next week. We'll have more for you when we'll be featuring an action from St. Vincent, a top Vincentian artist. Till then, keep that smile on your face and have a great weekend. Change, give me big money. This thing is <laughs> and I want everybody to wave the dollar. I want to see everybody dollar high in the air. And when the horn and them blow, just get on. <laughs>